There we go. We are rocking and rolling. It's seven days since we seeded the lawn and uh, we've got germination. Uh, the lawn actually started germinating on the fourth day. I took a video on the fifth, which I'll show you. Uh, probably put that on now in the video. Um, yeah, it germinated on the fifth day really well, but it started on the fourth. Uh, to get to this point, watering's just been, as I said in the previous video, uh, we were forecast rain the last week. It didn't really rain. <laughs> it was just overcast each day. Um, the temperatures were quite warm. We were hitting about 22, 23 some days. So I was just doing my general watering twice a day, morning and evening, obviously, after, before and after work. Um, just kept it damp. Uh, the, the lawn didn't really dry out um, unless I was at work, but I just watered it when I came back. And obviously the compost keeps it nice and moist uh, below, but not, not overly wet. And yeah, we're here. I like it. It's nice and even, really. The, the, the growth, the, it, it's coming through quite even. Um, you can see with the organic compost, it's quite, it is quite fibrous. As I, as I said in the last video, it can be tw quite twiggy. Um, you know, some might be concerned over it, but the grass will always come through where it's on top of a little bit thicker. Uh, I never have any problems. The, the lawn will come, the, the grass will come through um, any, any thicker areas where the compost is. Um, you know, some people might be a bit concerned, oh, is it going to be lumpy and bumpy? No, <laughs> it's just, it's just soft organic compost. And as soon as we give this its first mow, um, it's just going to flatten. We, we use rollers on our lawn mowers for a, a stripe. And um, so obviously it's just going to, it's just going to flatten. Um, so yeah, no problems. We've got a few little weeds popping up. Um, there's a few plants because this was all just a flower bed and um, two vegetable patches before we put this lawn. So, I mean, who knows what's going to come up. So that'll be fun to see, uh, but no problems, no problems. Uh, oh, we, we did have a, a cat visit us and use it as a toilet, um, which I mean, I don't want. It's not a big problem. Um, out of 13 years of being here, I don't think I've ever seen any cat muck once in this garden. And I lay a new lawn and um, we get a little visitor. So I'll clear that up. And um, I mean, to prevent it, you can, it doesn't sound very pleasant, but you can pour a bit of urine <laughs> around the edge of your garden, and, uh, which I'll do. And that just stops them coming in. So, I mean, it's a tip for you. It might not be the most pleasant tip, but that's a tip. So I'll be doing that because I, I don't want it. I mean, if you're a gardener or a landscape, you'll know the, the last thing you want where you're working is, is cat or dog muck. So yeah, I'm going to deal with that hopefully uh, and that'll prevent it from um, coming in. Um, but yeah, no problems at all. Just going to continue on with watering. We've just had a big downpour finally. Uh, we've had about two of them in the last week, even though it was forecast much more rain. Um, so I'm just going to carry on as normal. I will be feeding it in the coming week. Um, so obviously I'll post a video on that, what I'm using, why I'm putting it down. I'll also discuss um, organic ways of feeding the lawn if you wish to follow along. I sort of use both organic and just normal fertilizer, I would call it. Um, so yeah, you can choose how you want to treat your lawn um, going forward. Um, so yeah, nice catch up there and um, I'll speak to you soon. Bye.